Hey everyone, Dan Saavedra here from MergerData.com. And today I'm gonna to be going into a specific use case for Data Guide. I think it's one of the most underused features in Tableau Cloud. And if you can get your users to utilize this tool, you're gonna open up a lot of opportunities for the business. And so Data Guide is built into Tableau Cloud. And if you build your dashboards and publish them and users are using them, then they can access Data Guide. I don't know the specific details of license differences. I believe viewers can use Data Guide. If not, then it will be explorers and above. But basically when you're in a dashboard, and so I have the Superstore example open here, you'll have this Data Guide in the bar up top. And so if you click on Data Guide, it'll open up this panel on the right-hand side, and you'll see a bunch of information associated with the visualization that's selected. And so you can click to different visualizations to see what applied filters there are, what data is in the visualization, and then a data summary as well. Depending on the visualization that you select, it might tell you if there are detected outliers, and then you can drill down into these specific points. And so if you hover over it, you're seeing that Tableau is actually highlighting things in the visualization and a developer didn't even uh, put that into the dashboard. So a Tableau developer did not build this dashboard with a highlight functionality, but Data Guide is doing that for you. And so this isn't a video on showing the features of Data Guide, uh, but it is one that we're gonna dive into one specific use case that I think you can uh, expand to any type of dashboard consumption and use case for end users. So. If I click on the customer ranking chart here, you can see that we have our typical sections and it says no outlier marks are found. But I see that Sean Miller is at the top of the customer rankings for sales. And while he has a small loss in profit and profit ratio, I want to see more details around Sean Miller. And so typically without data guide, I'm going to either go to another dashboard or ask a developer to create additional visualization so I can look deeper into the Sean Miller data point or other customers. So we'd maybe create a customer dashboard where we can filter different uh, metrics by the customer that we select. But I don't wanna do that, that takes too much time. And what I'm gonna do instead is click on Sean Miller, which is going to change the context of the data guide. And then I'm gonna look down at both the data summary and the explanations. And so the ranking is okay. It's an okay insight. I can obviously see this, that it's he's the top guy. It tells me that 793 other customers are there. So maybe that's a little bit useful. But the explanations down here are what gets a little bit more in depth. And so Tableau gives us other things to explore section. And it says, what is unique about Sean Miller? And I'm gonna go into that first to show you why Data Guide is so powerful. And so what Tableau has done here is collected other dimensions of interest around this customer. And you can see that it is, uh, they're breaking it down by order profitable, ship status, region, and regional manager. But that's not the cool part. The cool part is when you click on this, Tableau is actually going to develop and produce, I'm sorry, Tableau is gonna actually just show you a visualization of that specific dimension and why it might be of interest. And so instead of having to develop an entire new dashboard or new worksheet that shows this information or a tool tip that shows this information, Tableau's done that for me when I click into this mark. And so you can see here that the order profitable percent for Sean Miller is much, much higher than the standard. And so this blue bar is him. He has 80% of his orders are unprofitable and only 20% are profitable. So this is a huge issue. And this is something that we would want to know as a business so that we can look into the details as to why this is occurring. And then we might want to dig further into other dimensions that Tableau has already provided. And so looking at ship status, you can see that we're shipping early, much higher rate than all the other records that we see in this data set. If I go into region, you can see that most of his orders are in the south and east regions, may or may not be useful depending on the business. 
And if I go down to regional manager, I can now see that Fred and Chuck have a high percentage of orders for Sean Miller. And so we want to see exactly what's going on. And maybe we want to reach out to the regional manager and say, hey, Fred, hey, Chuck, let's get on a meeting. One of our customers has the most sales, but we're losing money on him at a higher clip than any other client or higher than the, the typical ratio that we see for clients. And so this is super, super powerful when it comes to using data guide in Tableau, because I just avoided having to go back to an analyst or develop additional dashboards that show all this information. Tableau instead has understood this data point that we've selected and shown me additional worksheets and visualizations that can let me answer business questions. So this is huge. This is something you can take back to visualizations that you have at your business. You can see an outlier here or listen to Tableau and click on an outlier. So let's say we wanna to go to central. And then you can start hammering down further and further into the analysis. So you can see that it even filtered everything else on the page for me. And now we can really, really dig into everything. So we're in the central area, their profit ratio is low. And then we can also see what's contributing, contributing to that. We have all these dimensions, we have all these single values, we have all these measures. Discount rate seems to be pretty high. You can see here the average discount is an outlier compared to these other discount dots here. So profit is lower, discount ratio is higher. And so this is the type of stuff that you're gonna be asking as a business, that your managers are gonna be asking, that people using the dashboards are going to be asking, and you're avoiding so much development work. You're saving hours and hours. Imagine if I had to build this into my dashboard. We're talking about hours, maybe days of work. So this is crazy. This is, this is one of the most underused features I've ever seen in Tableau. Most end users don't know about data guide. Most developers that I've met don't know about data guide or haven't explored it really. They just know that it exists. So strongly encourage you to go take a look at this information. It's one of the most powerful things that we use for our clients. So as we focus more and more on the marketing analytics dashboards, being able to provide all of these insights just by simply clicking on a data point rather than having to ask us to develop something has empowered our clients to go find answers with the data sets that we've already provided. So I'm Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com. Hopefully this has sparked a bunch of ideas for you and your business. If you're looking for help with marketing analytics, maybe you're an understaffed marketing team or you have a couple marketers on your team but you don't have any data specialties, reach out to us. Our website is MergerData.com so you can find all the information there. Thanks for watching.